Welcome back to Normal Guy Games. So uh, this time I have something a little bit different. I picked up a copy of Space Marine Adventures, Tyranid Attack from Target. So let's crack it open and see what this Space Hulk light game looks like. It, it's looked kind of interesting, so let's have a look. So for Tyranid Attack, this is of course one of the boxed board games that uh, that you get from like Target or Barnes and Noble. I don't know that it's a Target exclusive, but I did pick this copy up from actual Target though. So this uh, follows the same vein as the original Space Marine Adventures and Rise of the Orcs, which I still haven't found a copy of Rise of the Orcs for a decent price, but eventually. So, um, my copy came with a damaged insert. I'm not too worried about it, but you can see the pieces there. But the, uh, so the game comes with uh, sets of cards. And um, these cards you're supposed to open as you go. Uh, the game includes, of course, a, a bag for you for your tokens. So you can put all your tokens in there. Um, comes with a set of dice, and this one actually is a set of colored dice, which is cool uh, because what we've been getting here lately is just white dice. Now, if you picked up the other, uh, the uh, I don't remember the name of it, but the the board game that has Lieutenant Titus in it, which I do have, um, you have a card that you can use for Titus in the game as well, which is kind of cool. Now, these individual envelopes are for any cards that you pick up for each player and as you can see here you get sets of cards that you open as you go as I said and that's your first one now each of the characters has their own different color of course which makes it easier to distinguish each one and uh, they are push fit and this is the I believe this is a uh, Bandai that makes this stuff the, the with the uh, the rounded sprues like that I can't remember what company does that but um, they're easy to snip off, easy to put together. They're push fit, obviously, as you can see. And you have choices of whether you want to do a helmeted head or a, a head with a, without a helmet. Now, it does come with a lot of packs of cards. And I'm not going to open these because I'm going to save it for when I actually play the game. So we're, we're not going to open any of the, the packs that we're not supposed to open yet. Um, the uh, <clears throat> the game itself looks to me, to, at least to me, it looks kind of like a Space Hulk light kind of game. Uh, I'm not really exactly certain how close that is, but we'll see. So that that's everything in the box, out of the box. It packs up really nicely back into the box itself. Um, you've got space for everything. You got space for your dice, space for your characters, space for your cards and your tokens. And let's open up the first batch of cards and see what we get out of it. The um, the of, of course you the first thing you get is uh, is a <laughs> a card that specifically says, like, "Hey, open now." But what you get here is you get your character cards which you can see has one for each color, of course. Um, Sergeant Maximus, you get uh, Brother Adix, um, you, and, and these cards sort of remind me of the uh, Combat Arena cards. And uh, so we get your different um, your creatures that you can run into um, from the Tyranid Prime all the way to the, t to the Lictor and the the term again and everything. Um, you have your action cards. The, the, this, is, this is going to be your initiative, so that's going to show you, you know, who goes when and where. And then you have your equipment. So it has all the equipment that you need to play the game and any abilities that you get. As you can see, some of them have the uh, the symbols for each of the Space Marines on them, and they correspond to that particular Space Marine. Now, uh, the Titus character is supposed to 
replace the ultramarine character that's in there already. Anyway, so the boards. So you get a number of boards, and they are double-sided. And as I said, this kind of reminds me of Space Hulk because it, it looks like a Space Hulk board. Um, if you've ever seen the Space Hulk tiles, it has that familiar, like, you know, uh, kind of a spaceship-looking feel with the corridors and whatnot. And those tiles fit neatly on the top of everything else. So moving on the rule book is laid out quite nicely it's uh it's nice it's got nice large print which is great uh, it goes over all the basics it tells it gives you overview of the game um, all of the different cards and components you get all the tokens you get uh, it gives you sort of a rundown of everything you need to know of the basics right there at the front which is standard fare and then uh, once you move on, it tells you actually how to set the game up, and it gives you an example of how everything looks when it's set up, which is nice. And of course, as you can see, level one, enter the Space Hulk. <laughs> so it, this is another reason why I feel like this is kind of a Space Hulk light type game. But it gives you a how to play, along with very nicely printed examples of the actions that you do things that you can and can't do the way the game works which i think is great i think that's very nice i appreciate that because sometimes you need kind of a visual representation so it gives you going on to level two and level three and it shows you uh the, you know playing the campaign and in the very back you have your assembly guide and on the back of the manual you have your rules reference now the assembly of the models is very simple and as you can see I have done so I put everything together and it looks really good I'm actually looking forward to trying this game out the uh, the different miniatures that come in it are really neat so I'm probably at some point am going to at least give them a basic paint job I don't think I'm gonna spend a whole lot of time on them but I am at least going to uh, put something together so that pretty much kind of sums it up the um, the game is really interesting looking and it looks like something that you can play in a short time uh, if like if you don't have a whole lot of time and you want to get a game in this looks like this is going to be your type of game but as you can see here everything fits right back into the box itself uh, including the miniatures and the bag with all the tokens in it and the boards now the um, uh, once it's all packed up and in it does kind of rattle just a little bit because there's still some space there between the uh, the bottom of the uh, of the insert and everything else but um, I did uh, as you could, as you'll see here, um, I did make a, a bit of a mistake. Um, the little divots that you see on the sides there, uh, the miniatures actually go in, or the tokens go in those those little divots, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I'm not really sure why they did it that way, but I mean, you know, why not? Anyway, um, if you wouldn't mind, please like, please subscribe. Uh, I will keep buying games and creating content as long as people keep tuning in. So uh, thank you for watching, everyone.